The basement. The basement. The basement. Hey everybody, I'm Stan. Kevin. And we're in the basement, and Welcome. we're playing Twilight Princess. Yay! Uh, it's a new session, so we're gonna probably be a little confused initially. We'll so, get it. Yeah, we always do. I think we were getting, like, the sword and stuff. Wait, did we get that far already? I have the sword and the shield already. Okay. We're heading to the, the first dungeon, I think. I don't like, the first real dungeon. I don't, know, I don't remember. Because we talked to this... Talked to the, the oh, spirit Oh, yeah, the person. spirit who's, like... Go get stuff and do things. Oh, I think we were getting bugs. Mm, okay. Sure. Don't, don't care about you. There's some monsters. I don't care about you, either. Oh, look at those waggy tongue. Yep, and then we went so, under the gate. Dig. Alright. Okay. See, it, it's it's tough because I, we're further than I've ever been in this game, so. <laughs> this so, yeah. does not seem like bugs. No, that, that was bad. Okay. You know, ultimately. I'm sure I've mentioned it, but I, this actually didn't hold up that badly, all things considered. I'm just amazed that it's ten years old already. Yeah. Time flies. You know, and now we're, uh, have you been watching the progression of the new Zelda? I haven't, actually. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I, uh, I, I mean, it's one of those things that... I'm a Nintendo fanboy, so I definitely get it, regardless. Right. But it, it does look very interesting. Uh, and the whole open world design is going to be kind of cool, I think. And I think ultimately, it's a lot of it is bringing back what makes Zelda kind of cool. Of, like, if you're exploring, and it's open world type, you can go around and find things. And, you know, I think... Aaron Hansen and Igor, Igor Raptor's sequelitis on Zelda, I think that explained some of the issues with Zelda, and I don't necessarily have a problem with the fact, the things he says, but I can understand where some of it, where he's coming from. Yeah. And that's, yeah. uh... God, what? I cursed. I'm yeah. out every time. What? Hey, I think we can get across him, maybe. I guess we're gonna try it. Yeah. At any rate, he basically says like you're going on a tour instead of. Right. And then there's there's truth to that. There's a big spot there. Nope. Nope. There is not. Yeah, there is. What you got for me? But yeah, it's uh. Ultimately. You know that. that there's probably truth to that, and it's not like I necessarily... God, five dollars. Five dollars, Kevin. You just dug up five bucks. I don't know who's hiding five bucks here, but it's it's awesome. Yeah. Five bucks is pretty sweet. But yeah, we, uh, you know, it... I can understand, I guess, to an extent, where they're coming from, that it can be kind of boring to just get walked through an area, you know, through a game. And as a result, uh, yeah. kick their ass, you bass. Hells, yeah. That's uh. Oh. I think I missed some back here. I think I go back. Uh -oh. Can you go back? I don't. I don't know. Get me up there. Anyway. Yeah, I, it seems like, potentially at the very least, we're, we're moving into a Zelda era of free roam again. It'll be different.
What? I think you have to dig them up from the underground. I know it's kind of a weird concept, but. Come on. Yeah, you gotta. Go over here. Yeah. That's kind of like. Uh, why I liked A Link Between Worlds so much, because it was. You didn't have to do anything in a certain order. Well, yeah. any, any of the dungeons you could do at any time. Yep. Just by getting the right items. Yeah, and there's a there's a lot to be said about that. That's it makes the game interesting and it definitely holds some value. And you have to dash into the wall to knock them down. Oh, yeah. I'm flying. Hey, yeah. I am the ninja werewolf. <laughs> Give me your soul. Alright, now I gotta go back over where I was. Oh, not dig. One thing that I, I kind of don't like that they added, I mean, it was added in Ocarina. And it isn't the case in all Zeldas, but in some of the Zeldas you've added it, they've added it where you don't necessarily, you have this kind of stuff. There's not like controlled jumps and climbing and stuff. Right. Like, I get it, but... It just kind of does it for you type of thing? Yeah, it's kind of bogus. I, like it, it's probably for the best for a player of my skill <laughs> I could see this area in particular being very frustrating fairly frustrating to, yeah. without it doing it for you what do you say forest temple ahead Ooh. forest temple is there any more of your little uh, spready sprites I didn't see any more on the map might be mm. over here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh oh. I, I get to fight more of these dudes. I don't remember how to do the thing. Uh, there's something with like a shield. Um. I don't remember how you do it either. There it is. I don't think I had to get all of them. Come on. Come on, follow me. Oh, there we go. Hole in the sky opens up. Yep. Pixel butthole. Wow. It's in here. I could be wrong. It's a potion shop or something? Yeah, it's the potion shop, remember? Oh, yeah. You can get your soup. Cup of soup? I ain't got, <laughs> I ain't got no bottles. Got a monkey trapped. Don't worry, little monkey. I help ya. That is a creepy freaking critter. Yeah, like okay, it's his mouth. For a second, <laughs> it looked like he had like testicle chin, and I was like, <laughs> "What the fuck?" Someone helped me. Is that a girl? It's got a little bow on its head. Yeah, it could be. Or a flower. This village kid's got the blah blah. Ah, he's just reminiscing, I guess. Oh, yeah. There you go, you filled up your little. Uh oh. I've been thinking about it. I feel like this game feels almost too cinematic so far. 
Like, I, I mean, we've been played for, like, th- what, three hours or something, like, in-game time. Yeah, yeah. And we haven't really done anything yet. You know, we haven't yeah. even seen the first dungeon. Well, we did a kind of pseudo-dungeon, but well, we haven't really done a dungeon. I understand what you're saying. I guess it's just not what I'm used to with Zelda. Like, in, yeah, it's, this was a Link to the Past, we'd I'd be done with the first three dungeons already. Yeah. <laughs> It's very uh, story heavy so yeah. far, and I guess I mean you are introducing a whole different kind of world here. And it's true. I get that, but ooh, all right. Do we? Uh, what do we I do? Think you save the uh, the spirit. Oh yeah. Uh, that is a weird. What the. What is that? A uh, scorpion squirrel monkey. Okay. The scorpion squirrel monkey of light. Oh, man. Pharaon. I am one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule. Life Force of the Gods. Man. Okay. I wasn't really... I mean, I guess I assumed there was gods in the world of Hyrule, but... I never really paid... <coughs> Excuse me. Paid attention to it. It wasn't like... If you're going with Ocarina of Time, is Din, Furor, and... The other one? <laughs> Din's Light. Din's Fire. Or Din's Fire, yeah. Furore's Wind and, uh, uh, the one that heals you. <laughs> uh, right. That one? Uh, if you know what it is, put it in the comments below. <laughs> I don't remember. Wow. That was a sign. There's a blue-eyed beast. It's a sign that the powers of the Chosen One. Oh, if they Ooh. rest within you. Yeah, it's very pro. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, uh, shout out, happy birthday, Mard. Is it Mard's birthday? Mard? Today? Well, right now? And now it's it's no longer Mard's birthday because oh. it's after midnight. But oh. before midnight, it was Mard's birthday. So everybody well, that knows how to get in touch with him, give him a happy belated birthday because, yeah. Well, he doesn't need to know that we recorded this after I'm, midnight. Oh, yeah. It's, Happy birthday, it's Mark. midnight. Happy birthday, Mark. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, you know what? What I'm thinking is uh, once we finish this little cinema here, your name is Stumpy. Yes. <laughs> and you are the hero chosen by the gods. Stumpy. Wow, that was just like the epic <laughs> cinema. <laughs> Dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Drama. Brave Stumpy. A dark power rests in the temple oh, deep Oh, forest temple times. Hells yeah. It's a forbidden power. There's a light locked okay, away. Okay, sure, whatever. This, you're right, there is a lot of story going on here. Oh, I skipped some things. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, forest depths. We gotta go there. All right. Well, when we get back, we will go to the four steps. Shit, yeah, we will. So, thanks for watching. Like, you know, give us that like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of us playing this. And as always, leave comments because we're always looking for comments. Nobody ever comments. I always look for comments. Leave comments. I don't care what your comment is. You could say we're assholes and whatever. Fuck you guys. I don't care. Yeah, I'm all right with that, too. When we get back, oh God. we're off to the Force Temple. Oh, that's right. why you turn into a beast. All right. Okay. Well, See let's you guys. Just leave it there. See you later. Next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.